Hello and welcome. As the world is transitioning towards a green and clean energy, nations around the world are making the moves so as to diversify their energy consumption from environmentally unfriendly sources to clean ones so as to stay competitive at a global stage. Currently, nations such as China, the United States of America, Brazil, India and Germany as well as other key European nations are among top nations who are making much strides towards the clean energy transition by reducing their footprint in global pollution. Today's video is about China's plan to construct a new pipeline from Russia through Mongolia to China, which is gonna divert natural gas from Europe to Asia. What is gonna be the impact of this project? Let's break it down. Kindly don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss content from this informative channel. Now, China is the world leader when it comes to wind and solar energy production, and it is aiming to generate a third of its energy need from wind and solar sources by 2025. Now, it is projected that China's energy need will peak by latest by 2035, which is one of the key reasons why China is currently working on a master plan to construct a Russia-China natural gas pipeline transiting through Mongolia. One of the major benefits of natural gas is that it is a clean energy and it offers much better environmental benefits over other fossil fuels like coal, which is in the right direction to reduce China's CO2 emission. In fact, CO2 emission from natural gas is believed to be half of those resulting from coal. Now, natural gas may not be as clean as wind or solar energy, but it is the cleanest fossil fuel, and it is considered by many nations and key experts as a key ingredient to the world's transitioning towards a clean energy future. Now, it is already a known fact that China is a factory of the world, making China the number one hub for the manufacturing of cheap goods. It is quite obvious that China will be among the top nations emitting much of the world's CO2. China alone generates over 30% of the global emission, that is over 1,065 million tons of CO2 in 2019, and the United States generated 14% of the global emission. So this natural gas pipeline is of much benefit to China and the world as large and it helps to reduce China's CO2 emission. The timeline for this project is likely to be accelerated for reason being that currently, Russia and the West are not having the best of times when it comes to relations and for the fact that Russia's export of natural gas to Europe has been shrinking for the past months, Russia is equally trying to divert its energy from Europe to Asia using China as the entry point. If this project becomes successful, what it means is that in the near future, Russia may extend this pipeline from China to other key Asian economies. One of the key benefits Mongolia is going to be obtaining from this deal is the proceeds it is going to be making from this transit fees, which China and Russia will be paying Mongolia for allowing the passage of this gas pipeline through its territory. Taking a look at this map, it is very clear that Mongolia is a landlocked nation finding itself locked between China and Russia. So it makes a lot of economic sense for Mongolia to join forces with China to undertake such projects. As the world economy is already tilting towards Asia and China becoming the center of it, it is quite obvious that nations around China will equally be tilting their economic moves to align their economies to China. So it is not shocking or it's not surprising to see Russia trying to make the moves with China so as to align their economy. What do you make of this project? Does it make economic sense? Or do you think otherwise? Kindly leave your comment in the comment section. Now we wait to see how visible this master plan becomes. And that is all for today. See you in the next one and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss my next update. Bye bye and have a good day.